हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ए आई वंस अगेन कमिंग अप विद बम्पर वैकेंसीज फॉर द ए टी सी एंड दिस टाइम इट इज़ फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स वैकेंसीज ये स्टूडेंट्स आर एक्सपेक्टिंग एंड वेटिंग फॉर दिस नोटिफिकेशन टू कम अप सो इट हैज़ बीन फ्लोरेड जस्ट येस्टरडे दैट इज़ द फोर्टीन ऑफ अक्टूबर फोर vacancies as you are able to see so you know you can go to the ai website careers and under the recruitment page you get this particular link okay you can just open it okay you get this notification now let's know the important bullet points about this notification who can apply whether it is of your benefit or not what is going to be the selection procedure and all let's understand all of this so aai that is airport authority of india okay recruiting junior engineers je for air traffic control department in the airport authority of india now there are 496 post uh, the categories are also mentioned so this one again is a bumper vacancies and this is more and more likely to increase in the future you know if you are if you have been aware about the channel and aware about the recruitment updates okay there was uh, you know an update by ai that there will be more and more recruitment uh, you know under the atc especially uh, for the upcoming time for the upcoming years so now the name of the post as i told you je under air traffic control so who all are eligible okay who all are eligible the bsc candidates are eligible for full time regular bachelor's degree that is 3 years bsc and full time regular bachelor's degree in engineering that is it could be be or as well as btech what branch it could be any branch okay be it your electronics or electrical or mechanical or civil or computer science who all are interested to work under atc okay can apply this and the nature of the exam is also mostly generic in nature that also we'll talk about okay also the candidate shall have a minimum proficiency in both spoken and written english english is definitely required here even in the written exam english can be expected not a very big percentage but a slight percentage okay so you should be good especially in the written as well as the spoken english as well okay to work with the ai okay so a degree should be from a recognized or deemed university or from an apic institute like iits iim xlri tiss etc and the percentage of marks it is just the past marks that is there for any bachelor's degree okay be btech bsc eligible already i told you this important point age limit very important and as expected like most of the psus the upper age limit is 27 as on the last date of the form filling i'll tell you the form filling last date that is 30th of november 2023 your maximum age should be 27 okay calculated up to this particular date of course there are relaxations like 5 years for a csc 3 years for obc non premier 10 years for pwd candidates okay so that regular relaxations will be applicable here as well so this is what okay so notification has been announced yesterday that is 14th october but okay the online date of online application okay opening date it's it's going to be online process only and that is going to be 1st november so you can start filling it from 1st november till the 30th of november you have entire one month to fill up the form but if you are sure you can fill it in the initial days only to avoid the last moment hustles and the panics exam date is not announced the tentative date of online examination will be announced on the ai website page okay so you can be uploaded or you can just be you know connected to this particular page as i told you okay and anything you know whether it is the exam pattern they have not mentioned the exam pattern also but i'll give you some hint what can be the exam pattern okay the syllabus exam pattern exam date admit card update everything will be keep updating in this particular portal so you can directly go to this ai.aero/en/career/recruitment okay stay updated to it okay and also any any further updates i have i shall tell you because exam date is really you know the creates the curiosity in the students mind whatever the case may be you know depends you know sometimes exam dates come early one or two months as well sometimes it may be delayed also due to unavoidable circumstances but what you have to take care is exam is going to be there it is announced it is a official vacancy so you should start your preparation from the day one you don't have to wait till the end moment fill the form quickly okay starting from 1st november and you know just start preparing for the exam as quickly as possible now pay scale okay for the junior executive will be group b e1 level so it is like what what most of the psus offer that is starting from the executive one level okay the pay scale of 40000 to 140000 okay even most of the psus are offer the offering the same but you know in well while working in any psus i have told you several times you should never look only at the basic pay you should be looking into the several allowances the hidden allowances okay that you will be getting okay the actual ctc would be one uh, will be 13 lakhs it's very good considering you are working in psus the job security job stability is a very big criteria always keep that in mind as compared to private culture okay so that's what in addition to basic pay you get the da the perks uh, the several perks that is at 35% of basic pay hra other benefits which include cpf gratuity social security schemes medical benefits etc 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 lot of lot of hidden benefits are there okay so look into that that you are stable and you are still getting a, a good ctc that is the 30 lakhs uh, 13 lakhs per annum i'm sorry 
ओके सम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एक्चुअली सिलेक्शन प्रोसेसर की बात करते हैं ओके बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट इज यू नो गोइंग टू बी रियल कंसर्न फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ओके फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट अ सेकेंड हाँ जी या सो लेट एस कम टू दिस सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस जस्ट अ सेकेंड यार वॉट इज है हाँ सो नाउ इट्स गोइंग टू बी थ्रू अ रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन टेस्ट ओके एन ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज अ कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट विल बी कंडक्टेड फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ जेई ओके देर विल नॉट बी एनी नेगेटिव मार्किंग ये क्लियरली मैंशन कर दिया है ओके द सिलेबस शैल बी अपडेटेड अंडर द प्रेस नोट एज आई जस्ट शोन यू ऑन दी वेबसाइट ओके देर इज नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग दिस मच दे हैव मैंशन बट आई थिंक दे हैवेंट मैंशन दी एग्जाम नेचर बट एज पर यू नो दी लास्ट ईयर्स पैटर्न इफ आई टेल यू ओके इफ 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 दैट इज कंटिन्यूड मोस्ट लाइकली द सेम पैटर्न विल बी कंटिन्यूड ओके सो दिस कैन बी अ वन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स एग्जामिनेशन वन ट्वेंटी विल बी स्प्लिट इन टू सिक्सटी एंड सिक्सटी Okay, you can note down that will be split into sixty and sixty, where sixty marks will be for physics and math. So there is no electronics or computer or civil engineering syllabus here separately. It's going to be physics plus math. Okay, up to what? Up to the plus two level. The physics and maths up to the plus two level. Everything that you have studied in eleven twelve, especially the eleven twelve syllabus, you just focus there. And these sixty marks will be general in nature. And what are these general natures will include? Okay, this will number one include the English. Okay, last year it was twenty questions. Okay, then this will include the general intelligence, fifteen questions. This will include the general aptitude as well, fifteen questions. And uh, then there will be GK of ten questions. There will be what? There will be the GK of the Ten questions and equivalent to ten marks. Actually, one question will be one mark. Okay, so total one twenty. If you talk about the cut off last year around ninety five, last to last year uh, almost in the range of nineties. So most likely the cut off is around ninety out of this one twenty. Okay, so questions are mostly simple nature, no engineering level questions. It's basic physics and maths class eleven twelfth and also some general nature English as I told you will be there in the examination. So this is not officially released this year, but you know. following the pattern of last years if we continue this is the exam pattern expected so that you start your preparation accordingly so that you start preparing main your physics and maths okay so all those who really feel confident in physics and maths they should definitely start preparing revising up your concepts and start uh, preparing for this now once you qualify the written online examination there is no interview for this procedure okay you are directly called up okay you know once you are selected okay you'll be called up you know for like your application will be verified of course okay there will be a voice test psychoactive substance test just to be verified that okay none of these are found in your blood streams okay so these are just just formalities like medical test is there in most of them your background will be verified and all those things now what is this voice test you will be asked to give your brief introduction okay and also they will be providing you a paragraph mostly of 3 to 4 lines okay so you have your give your you have to give your brief introduction and along with that you have to read that particular paragraph okay and your voice will be tested accordingly it's mostly a formality okay and it's just qualifying in nature okay isme koi wo nahi hai ki you have to score more and more okay they set a minimum qualifying bar and if you go above and over and above that you are qualified so no interview no gd no pi okay it's going to be basic medical examinations application verification background verification and a voice test going to be conducted clear so this is what the selection procedure will all be also mostly it's written nature that you can say rest all is mostly formality okay now uh, rest all uh, some more important points let me see if there is okay yeah application fee it's a nominal fee of rupees 1000 okay that is also inclusive of gst that is to be paid by the candidates through online mode only okay now uh of course if you are sc st pwd candidates or okay if you have completed one year of uh, appraisal uh, apprenticeship training in ai okay or female candidates you are exempted from the payment fee okay so that is also one point that you should note all right rest all is okay guys so you know take it as a good opportunity okay if you feel that uh, you know you are slightly fluent in english you don't have to be pro in english okay basic uh, english spoken sp skills and you feel that you feel that up to the class 12 your physics and maths was even okay okay above or above average average or above average you should start preparing for this examination thank you this is rakesh talreja giving you the important updates about this examination so that you are motivated and you keep preparing for these examinations 496 is a big number there is no branch wise categorization all those you know the general examination like physics maths and english ga etc okay so anybody can take the benefit here i again repeat b btech bsc all are eligible no you know restriction branch wise thank you stay safe and take care of yourself